Okay, commonly in uh, Karasa Kata, we find the spear hand technique, Nukite. And uh, far from it being a thrust with the fingertips to the sternum, because that's just going to get your fingers damaged, mostly, um, we need to find another use for it. And if you search my channel elsewhere, you can find what I regularly teach as an application to it. So today we're just going to look at something a fraction different. You see what I mean? So we're here like this, and whatever's going on, you know that you've got to have um, a real kind of attack. So we'll, we'll usually use the big right hook. So we're in here like this, and that has to be stopped, because otherwise if you get hit, there is no retaliation, there is no use for the technique. And what we're going to do this time is we're going to bring this hand as the pressing block, or Sayuki, to the back of the opponent's head. And then we're going to take this hand and we're going to run it diagonally across his back. So my angle is 45 degrees, which means that the hand shoots out straight from me, which gives me a diagonal across his back. Um, what we're looking at here is not what the fingertips do, it's not the fingertips digging in, it's the whole of the rest of the arm, and in particular the elbow end of it. So we're just shooting like this, and that is enough for us to just buy uh, an opportunity to do something else, or maybe you know to do some real damage. So we'll just show you that again very, very gently. If we've got the punch coming in, that's got to be stopped. That crashes down, and then this jumps into here like this. And that action, pressing out like that, that's enough to give him a bump that, uh, that he, he doesn't want. So our application is for this move. We're just not doing what's obvious.